What's going on guys? This is Knasty3090 here. Welcome back to another MLB18 The Show Diamond Dynasty video. I haven't done a really a lot of Diamond Dynasty videos recently. However, they did have the new patch, which might make me play the game a little bit more in Diamond Dynasty. So I figured let's do a lineup update. It's been a while. Now you can see my stubs are a lot lower than what they used to be. Uh, like a couple weeks ago, I just spent all my stubs on packs. I didn't pull anything. So I've been kind of just like selling the stuff that I just had, chilling in my binder. Um, playing the market a little bit. I got up to about 15,000 subs. I got more stuff to sell, but I do want to show you guys my lineup. As you can see, we're an 88 overall. This is team no money spent. I have not spent any money on the game. If you guys are new, basically I got the $100 version of the game. Use the stubs at the beginning to kind of help build my team. Uh, build, play the market. And let's get into the team and just go over everything. So let's look at the rotation. We got Sutton and Saber Hagen as our top two, both 90s over, 90 overall. Sutton's really good. His screwball's stupid filthy. Um, Sabre Hagen's pretty darn good too. Those are pretty good for the speed. Good changeup curveball slider mix. Jack Morris is pretty darn solid. Great clutch. Good stamina. Doesn't throw overly hard. Cole Hamels is really solid, guys. You get him from the first Conquest. Not even Conquest Extreme. He's a really good pitcher. And then Oral Hershazer as well. I don't love Oral. I might get another guy. But that's what I have for my rotation right now. In the bullpen, my long man is the Nolan Ryan, the 83 Ryan. He has 63 stamina, so I need a guy to go a long, like a long time in the bullpen. Got him. Uh, we also have Edwin Diaz. He always has a great inside edge, and his pitches aren't great, but he does throw pretty hard, and he has a good slider, and hopefully you can get that to get a, like a, a right-handed hitter out or two. Uh, lefty, I'm rocking with Tony Swip, not Tony Sip, the new card. I want to give him a try. Um, he has a fastball slider changeup two seam. I do have the uh, 80, uh, 78 Chris Sale, which I normally use, but I do want to give this sip a try to see if he's any good. John Axford is another reliever right now, 83 overall. I kind of like his pitches, uh, curveball, slider, fastball, sinker mix. Lee Smith, career arc, really good card. Uh, Billy Wagner, 88 overall, immortal, damn good card, one of the best lefties in the game. And Trevor Hoffman, I just recently got him. He's filthy, guys. <laughs> He's really good. If you haven't done him already, I would recommend doing him. His changeup is like no joke. The thing is ridiculous. I've never seen a changeup move as much as his in like any MLB game. It's so stupid good. And he throws hard enough where you can get away with it too. Uh, moving on to the lineup now, boys. Leading off, former Red Sox, great. Hanley Ramirez, shortstop, career arc, 88 overall. Not good versus lefties, but amazing versus right-handed pitching. Batting second, Matthew Kemp, Matt Kemp. This guy's a stud. I have him in center. Batting third, I want to get a lefty in there, so I have Larry Doby. Now, he doesn't hit well against lefties, though. But the guy batting fourth does. Brian Dozier, he's a glitch. 86 overall. I have short, uh, second basemen who are better, but I just like, or I will be soon. But I just love this Dozier so much. Batting fifth, Billy Williams. As you can see, a lot of these cards are just cards I've got from grinding, like career arcs or immortals or conquest or conquest extreme. That's really how I built most of my, most of my lineup. Billy Williams batting fifth. I might switch him and Doby. I hit better with Doby, but um, he's worse versus lefties, and Williams is a better all-around player. Chipper Jones batting six. I hit really well with really well, excuse me, with this card. Get him from the Immortal. Batting seventh in uh, career arc. Paul Molitor, not a great power hitter. I do have Jim Edmonds, who I sometimes will use at first. He just is glitchy. I kind of want him on the bench though right now. I think Molitor's really good contact. I, I just got this card, so I haven't tried him yet online. I'm hoping he has enough power to use. But with the vision and that contact, his PCS should be enormous. Uh, batting 8th from Extreme. Uh, Yedier Molina. I have him mostly for defense. I really want you guys to help me out, guys, in the comments down below. What catcher should I use? I have Molina, I have Gary Carter, and I have Mike Piazza. Now, Piazza's probably the best hitter, but the worst fielder. Gary Carter hits lefties really well and damn good fielder. And then Molina hits good contact, not crazy power, but the fielding in the arm is amazing. And I'm just worried about guys running on me. Well, Molina should solve that. So I'm using Molina, but if you guys think I should try someone else, I've used all three. Um, I hit really well with this Carter. I don't hit great with the Molina, but his defense is insane. Piazza, I thought I'd hit better with, but I don't. Mejia, I haven't really used him. I don't really want to put him in the equation. But that's what I have for the lineup and the bench. J.D. Martinez is one of the best hitters in the game. Great guy for a pinch hit. Same with Jim Edmonds. Joe Torre, I like him because he can play third, first, and catcher. Not a great card, but he's a good to like put in. Pee Wee Reese for a little bit of speed. Can also play short if I need a backup shortstop. And right now I have Gary Carter. But I may sub Gary Carter out because I have Joe Torre and put in a speedster. 
I don't know. Um, I do have a speedster. Where is he? We all got him from one of the uh, missions. I, where, I have Drew Stubbs, who's some speed, but where is he? Not Tony Gwynn. There is a guy that we recently just got. Johnny Damon has some speed, but not the guy I'm thinking of. There was a guy that we just recently got. If I can find him. Uh, he's a speedster. I can't find him right now. I can't even remember who he was, but there's... Oh, Bonifacio has some good speed. 91 speed. That, that wasn't the guy I was thinking of, but I have some other guys I could sub in. D Gordon, that was it. D Gordon, 97 speed. I might sub in D Gordon to put in there. I can't hit with this dude. I've tried. 99 plate appearances. I'm hitting... What am I hitting? 323, and it's all by bunting. Um... So, that's my lineup. It's nothing crazy, but for no money spent, it's not too bad. And I have more cards I'm close to. Like, I'm close to getting Diamond Jackie Robinson. I'm close to getting um, Diamond Albert Pujols. I'm close to getting Diamond Chase Utley. That I might try at second base, but Dozier, hit, I hit solo with Dozier. I don't know why I would want to upgrade. I don't know. But 88 overall, team no money spent. I might try to get some gameplay out for you guys soon. So if you do want to see that, please drop a like on the video. I will talk to you later, boys. Take it easy. Peace.